Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, about a week ago, I dropped a video showing you how to flash a custom ROM on Samsung Galaxy S4. But although I have showed how you can install a custom ROM, but I haven't reviewed that ROM actually. So today we are going to dive into the pros and cons of that ROM and whether it's worth trying out or not. So let's get started. So the ROM we are going to explore today is Resurrection Remix based on Android 7.1. So it's an IOSP based ROM. Let's take a look at Android version and other things. So as I said, it's based on Android 7.1 as you can see, Android 7.1.2. And if you go there, you can see here, uh, this is the final version of it. So it is pretty much stable ROM. So it's a pretty much usable ROM for daily drive. So as you can see here, Android version 7.1.2 and the security patch level is December 5, 2017. But security patch level is doesn't matter for these old devices. Uh, we are lucky that we are getting ROMs. Still, the ROM is available online because most of the ROM links are disappearing actually. So no one taking care of those ROMs. So we are fortunate that the ROM is still there and still you can try these ROMs. So as you can see here, this ROM is for i9500 only so if you have different version of samsung galaxy s4 don't flash this rom and i will put the link of the older video uh, in the description below so that you can like check that video and if you really want to install you can see the step by step guide and flash this rom so going with other things if we tap on android version it will show the nugget logo as you can see here and the device name this is a code name of the samsung galaxy s4 uh, JA 3G XX. The setting is pretty much similar to IOSP based ROM or Google Pixel ROM similar and the ROM works perfectly fine. I have to say that this ROM is perfectly good ROM and it's work pretty much like stock ROM. So going with this ROM first of all we got Wi-Fi Bluetooth and mobile data and everything. So those things are working perfectly fine. As I said, this is a pretty much a stable ROM. So you will not have any kind of issue with those things. And in my usage, I did not have any kind of issue with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and mobile data. But minor issue you will find here and there. Those actually accepted for a custom ROM. So going with other things, we got configuration. So as I said, this ROM comes with tons of features. I mean tons of features. So whatever you need, those things are available here so first of all i'm not going to show you everything of it but here you can see we have clock customization we have panel customization even we can change the recent panel we have quick setting we have lock lock screen we can change lock screen we have gestures and we have buttons so if you want more things to be done with this soft button those things are available you can go to hardware keys and you can customize whatever you want we can go to animations and system animation. So I have disabled the animation because it gives a little bit fluidity to the device. So I have disabled the animation. You can do that too actually. And also we do have like power menu. If you want to change, you can change. We have interface option. We have font, theme and whatever you want. All those things are available. You can change the theme. You can change the color. Usually I like the orange color actually. So I put it orange. And we have dashboard we have input option we have screenshot option we have miscellaneous setting so we have display burn protection so in default setting the display burn setting is actually disabled so you can turn it on if you are using this rom for a long time but in my case i just turn it on but i'm not going to use this rom for long because i have to review a few other roms too and we have miscellaneous setting here we can customize many things from here and we have about and kudos to the uh, Resurrection Remix team because they have maintained this ROM and this is pretty much pretty good ROM I have to say that and going with other things display setting the adaptive brightness is working perfectly fine no issue with that we have rotation setting rotation does work perfectly fine no issue the high touch sensitivity is also available and if we double tap on the status bar turn off the screen and home button does wake up the screen and live display if you go there there are few other things going on like color profile you can change it to standard and natural or adaptive or reading so it's up to you whatever profile you like you can choose 
we can go to color calibration have reduced power consumption sitting also so it reduces the uses of battery actually uh, and the setting is actually turned on by default that's why it's on so you can turn it off if you want better display but i don't really want that right now we have notification we have sound we have application we have storage as you can see 8.28 gb is available uh, i have installed few applications only and the battery come to the battery battery is doing pretty good actually it's better than the stock rom and i have no complaint about the battery it's doing pretty well and as you can see the memory section so this device got 2 gig of ram and out of 2 gig now about 900 megabyte is available and also you can choose which application you want to like enable or start when you boot the device you can turn all those application off if you don't want and i kept them default actually and we have user we have quick gesture settings double tap to sleep you have to turn it on actually on default maybe it's turned off and we have few other things location does work security section we do have swipe and pattern and we do have pattern as you can see 3 by 3 4 by 4 5 by 5 and 6 by 6 is up to you whichever you want you can turn it on and few other things here other than that this is pretty stock rom nothing much going on and everything works perfectly fine here going with the other things uh, in the application part the rom didn't come with any kind of gfs you have to flush gfs separately but after flushing gfs it does work perfectly fine as you can see i have installed youtube via a browser and safety net to check safety net is working or not but safety net doesn't work here so you cannot use any kind of bank application and also it's running on android 7.1 i don't think anyone going to install bank application on this device right now because it's pretty old device and it's not so secure right now going with other things we do have audio effects we have a browser here and as you can see we do have two file manager actually so one of the file manager was built in with uh, rom and one of them came with the gfs so you cannot really uninstall one of these but if you root the device you can do that too and also we have music application we have gallery and we have a omni switch application if you go with that if you, you can turn it on and it will give you another window where you can see your recent application and also you can customize many things here actually but i don't really want that i turned it off going with the play store so play store working perfectly fine as you can see it's pretty smooth actually the rom is pretty smooth and you can install anything facebook application on whatever you want all those still supported and android 7.1 is still quite well supported rom and i don't think you will have any kind of issue with application part and i did try one more thing actually i have installed free fire i have never played free fire in my life i have installed only for this because i cannot install pubg on this so i have installed free fire but it doesn't work actually it it, it does open as you can see here uh, it is opening like half of the display but it doesn't work so i don't think you can do any kind of gaming here but other than that there is nothing much going on it is pretty stable rom the camera is also working the camera is uh, google camera actually it's a old version of google camera and it does work perfectly fine and as you can see here it like video recording i did try video recording and the picture everything is working perfectly fine rather than that there is nothing much to talk about youtube is also working you will not have any kind of issue with youtube too so as you can see here youtube is working perfectly fine so that's all about this rom if you want to try out this rom the rom link is in my previous video so i will put the previous video link you can watch that video or you can just download the firmware from there so this rom is pretty much a stable rom and i haven't faced any kind of issue and i definitely recommend you guys to install this one if you have samsung galaxy s4 this version i9500 so that's all about it thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time